Hello there, everybody. I'm Bixir, back with another LEGO set review. First off, I'd like to say I am in a temporary studio. It's really just on the floor, and that's why this video quality is a bit bad. I don't even have a studio light. But anyway, this is the Avengers Endgame Iron Man Hall of Armor, set number 76125, and it retails for $60 in the U.S. with 524 pieces. It came out in 2019 at the time of the recording of this video. You can still get this on the market. And usually it goes for about $43 in stores, uh, when it's on sale, which usually it is at Walmarts and Targets, and $48 online, like on Amazon, Walmart.com, or Target.com. Though, I've noticed that you can't really find these at anywhere, um, anyway, near me, you know, I've checked around six different, uh, Walmart and Targets, and I've never found this in stores, except at one place, but unfortunately, they had it for a full price, but, uh, anyway, I had to pay $60 for it, but, uh, I plan to get a couple more, and I'll explain that later. But anyway, let's just, uh, get into it. I decided, like, maybe we should just save the figures for the end and just start in with the build of it all. So, again, sorry about the lighting, but the main thing itself is the Hall of Armor, and that in and of itself may be separated into, well, many different parts. But sticking to the basics, it's basically three parts, and I'll get to the many different parts later, but... Uh, yeah, there's the main strip at the back, the little assembly area, and then the little computer. Let's start with this computer right here. It's just on a small plate, and, uh, it has this chair. You can twirl that up right around, except that the edges of the corner prevent it from going 360, and then the piece obviously can. And there's some, uh, stickers right there. Would be nice if those were prints, but unfortunately they are what they are. They're stickers, but... There you can see the Outrider kind of alert system error, as it says right there. It's even kind of hard to see it in real life, to be honest. And then it says Intruder Alert as well. So yeah, you got the Outrider, Iron Man's helmet. Here you have, if I can just take that chair completely off, you got the blocked collar, and there's Phil Coulson, so that's pretty funny. You got right there uh, the coffee mug, and then, you know, some keyboard-esque stuff. And something else back there. So, yeah, a lot of stuff going on there. Too bad it's kind of hard to see. And the way it connects to here is this uh, Technic pinhole right there. And um, this is the kind of assembly where the kind of droid-like arms would go ahead and assemble Tony Stark into the Iron Man suit. So, yeah, they have, um, they're on ball joints at the bottom. They can spin up right around. And then they just have a clip joint right here. And another clip joint right here. So they have good articulation. And I guess that, you know, they look pretty good. This whole thing, I like that it can spin up. So that looks pretty cool. This seems like something that would look super cool if you did a little stop motion thing with it. Assembling Iron Man. And he just stands right there on two one by 2 jumpers. I like how it's kind of hollow inside. And then you got uh, this, which is this kind of Technic. Uh, axle, which is how it connects into there, which is the Iron Man Hall of Armor strip, which, well, let's take a look at that. And, uh, I'd just like to say sorry about the lighting quality in this video. It, again, is pretty bad. It is, again, my temporary studio, so this isn't the norm, but anyway, just trying to focus in there. It's showing a lot of the walls. Again, temporary, but, um, it has nine separate sections, and those may each be, uh, separated because they're just um, attached by clips, and we can get a better look at that if I pull the thing closer to us. Ah, uh, that did not go as planned. So, yeah, that's actually one problem that I'm kind of happy that happened because I wanted to show, like, I don't know, maybe one clip, although, like, I think it was the right decision, okay? Because if you just put one clip, then, you know, obviously, you know, these things would not, um, be as sturdy, they'd be super flimsy, so I guess this was the right decision, but anyway, so they can be separated and then attached, and, um, so the thing that just popped up, off, sorry, is a satellite right here, nothing too interesting, I actually think it takes away from the look, and it looks better without it, and, uh, let's start from, uh, one end, and then slowly just move around to the other. Starting on this side, you see a little ladder up there, maybe, so that a uh, figure could go ahead and climb up there. You get the little blender right there. And um, in the Malibu Mansion set, which was, it came out for Iron Man 3, it said he was blending mandarins. So, if you get the pun right there. And you got another coffee mug. Here you have a little uh, weapon display. It looks like some laser-esque 
thing down there, and then a stud shooter in red. Maybe a fire extinguisher, I don't know. Uh, there you got, yep, you got a suit. Uh, and that's just a suit holding you. Yeah, we're gonna take a look at the figures later. Back there, you got another place to put a suit. Here you have a little display for a jetpack with this in... This thing that just pops out, that doesn't look too good, but I'll touch on that later. Two more places for armor, a little place to hold a wrench, and a little work table back here looks like it. And um, along the black side, and this uh, this set is has a lot of disappointments in my opinion, but along the back side, if I can turn this all around, you get three stickers. And that's a disappointment in my opinion, they all should have had stickers, but... Anyway, back there you get, I believe that is, oh, I'm figuring which one that is. Oh yeah, that's the Mark V, of course, the suitcase armor, which is included in this set. And then right there, you get the, I believe, um, that is the Mark 25, I think it was called Striker. Hey, it says it right there in the sticker, but yeah, it has two drills on its hand. Sorry if this uh, quality is a bit fuzzy. Let's try and get there in a better look. And then uh, this last one. Yeah, it's, again, super hard to see, but it has, like, six different suits with the not-helmet design, like the helmet printed on minifigure, which was the first Iron Man design, and it says House Party Protocol, so, uh, you get three stickers back there. I just wanted to mention that, seeing as to this is an Iron Man Hall of Armor, it's mainly to display the suits, and... It just takes away from it with basically all the stuff that is not suit that is being displayed. Sure, there are some easy takeaways. For example, this. Rip it off. This. Rip it off. But then you got three major things which are a bit troublesome. So, uh, here's what I mean by that. So, here's uh, one thing that you could do. You could just pull this whole 2x4 brick off because it, this whole assembly is on a 2x4 brick. Of course, then you're missing some grading pieces to make it look a bit better. And then, I've done this because this is, I want this to be my Iron Man display, which I'll show you guys later. But, you can also pull this off. It's a bit more tricky, seeing as to it's not just on kind of a brick. Uh, well, it's on a brick, but you know, it's not like one solid brick. It's a lot of small plates and then one brick in the back together. But you can pull that off. Again, it's missing a lot of that grating detail but this is the hardest part it just looks bad in general with that intrusion but the yeah this is going to be a bit tricky so basically if you did want to customize it the way i do add in you need uh you need to add in two of these and one of these to the back on either side and then here which is the tricky part you basically got to unclip these sides and then unclip this side. So, I get this up and onto its own by itself. And then, uh, yeah, it's really, it's kind of difficult to do this, and it's tedious, which is why I don't like that they did it in the first place, you know? Um, their whole decision, really, to just kind of put all these things in together, but, like, I don't like, like, it should have just been an armor display, but the only thing to do here is take these away, because these are the 2 by 3 Sorry, the corner bricks right here. And then this whole thing gets removed. Although, the downside to that is... You're missing a 1x4 right there, so you'd need that. But on this assembly, you get a little grading piece, so... You could then go ahead and, if I can finally get it, stick that in right there. Um, about the suits, though... Uh, it would be cool to see, yeah, that's the problem, by the way, with not having the 1x4. Those pieces are just secured by the top, so they will fall down easily. And, I don't know, maybe it could have been better if maybe LEGO put the suit, I mean, okay, if LEGO put the glass, then suit, then frame, then glass, and then you remove the glass and frame part at the front to put that with the glass in at the back, because then, you know, you can kind of see it, um, well, here you can see it more, it's just not really in case, but I think what they were going for is fine, and then, you know, here's the kind of detailing at the top, but it, here's the thing, here at the back, you also get this, so you could, um, maybe do something like this, you know, anything with that axle just attached to the back, which I don't know how useful that is. But the really good thing about this is with all those connections, you can easily turn it into a circular thing. 
if that's what you're looking to do, and then kind of put this in the middle. If you get a second set of this, remove the ladder, and then you could have a full circle with this in the middle. You could easily stack them up, and I'm going to do a combination video later, because I'm planning on combining three of these, which I'll talk about again at the end, but yeah, you could do a lot of things. You could kind of make it into a square-ish thing, if that's what you're interested into. So yeah, definitely a lot of customizable options. And again, because this is um, a hall of armor, I would have liked if they didn't have that work table or that thing. Because now, you know, maybe, fine, include those, but have the option just to put, give us a 1x4, four, 4 of these sloped pieces, and 2 of these 1x2s. That way we could kind of customize this more. But let's move on to some of these smaller builds. Here's the dummy with uh, two kind of fire elements. That's just fire. And then the dummy build is pretty cute. Nothing revolutionary. Has some articulation, wears a dunce cap, and has a fire extinguisher. So that is from Iron Man 1 when, you know, the suit, when it tries to put Iron Man out, even though there's no fire on the suit. Hey, so if there was another suit in this set, wouldn't that be great? Well, that's not always the case. For example, if there were four suits in this set, I'd be disappointed. I'd be, it would be fine. I just would be like, oh, I wish I had one more. So there are five. That's not a good thing. Well, it is that we get five suits. It's just don't do it like this. This is a mess. This is Mark 38. This is Igor, and it just doesn't look like it. It's blue, so they got the coloring right. Search pictures of Igor. So the head, in my opinion, is more like a dome sideways here. They didn't capture that. It's too blockish. And then instead of printing on a 2x2, two two, which would have made it look a bit better, they had to use this weird piece, which looks like a duck nose. Printing is pretty good, but then that's not how Igor looks at the top. He's got some stickers. All these ball joints really just make him look, I don't know, they make him look flat. The back doesn't help that. Yeah, this thing is just a mess. I really don't like how this turned out, and that's saying something, because Igor is one of my favorite builds. But, uh, some positive. He opens up. You fit a figure inside, Iron Man. And he closes up, or he should, yeah. And he's pretty... He has a lot of articulation, I'll say that. You know, you can move all this, move that. Uh, he basically has knees. You know, you could do a pose kind of like this if the weight wasn't there. So, he has definitely a lot of articulation. The fingers move. So, just so much you can do with this, but... Okay, between play value and accuracy, because this is a display for Iron Man suits, come on, Lego, we needed the accuracy here. Maybe even do a big fig, or finally introduce that kind of thing that everyone wants, which is a mix between a big fig and a figure so that you can like make that for Mr. Incredible and other people who aren't quite Hulk, but aren't quite figures. Speaking of figures, I'm showing them here, partly because it was just a cool idea and partly because um, I don't really have my figure stand because again, I just moved and this is a temporary studio. But anyway, um, this is in Outrider, and yeah, it's the same as the Infinity War line, I actually like these, I prefer them to the ones with like golden claws and stuff like that, that kind of look weird in my opinion, no leg printing, awesome torso printing, that face print looks pretty cool, and he does have that same, uh, back attachment, so you could fit in four more arms, so it's a six-armed creature, even though they should be four arms, but there are two of them included in the set, I took this one's head and back off, excuse me, so that you can see that back torso printing right there. And again, it's good to get the grunts of the movie. Thank you, Lego. This is amazing. We finally have the Iron Man Mark I as a minifigure. This is, this is just awesome. Like, so many people have been wanting the Mark I. Uh, Mark good thing it wasn't a Comic-Con exclusive, because then we probably wouldn't have gotten this. And I'm just so happy that we finally got it. And Leg out did themselves. Look at that printing right there, that leg printing. Oh, it's so intricate. And then you move into the torso, which has even more great printing. I just love how this thing turned out. Like, it has so much detail and so much fine coloring. It looks metallic yet rustic. It has a lot of rusting. There's the back, there's the back torso print, which says Stark Industries. I remember when this was first leaked. Lego made the right decision without making the helmet that can open up, since it's more accurate. And underneath, it's just a clear face because the suit that 
LEGO decided to put Tony in is the newest one, which is Mark 50, which for Avengers Endgame actually isn't the newest one, but I'll talk about that later. Here you have Mark V, first featured in uh, Iron Man 2, and this is basically the suitcase. It even says that on the sticker. But yeah, that lay printing is nice and red, and then you got that metallic going up into it. Like, this looks so much better than the Spider-Man Homecoming one. This is not, the one I'm about to show you is not included in the set, just for comparison. But yeah, because that's the one with silver and uh, maroon as well. But yeah, this, they really captured the look well. It's got that nice aesthetic look to it. That printing on the mask is super cool, and especially in that color. And then you got that awesome back torso print. And another clear head, which is, I think, is accurate even more than those blue trans uh, clear heads, which they use even for the homecoming one, which I just showed you. But again, a great figure. Lego always outdoes themselves on Iron Man. Here is Mark 41, Bones, and he's a black suit, so there's variation there, and I love that. Um, uh, so, yeah, he actually looks great. Like, he's got this gold printing, but there's even more than that to him. Not only that, but that's not pushed all the way. Not only that, sorry, but um, sure, it doesn't align great with the torso print. That's not just because I didn't push it all the way, but he's got this fine detailing all around there with those intricate lines, that arc reactor in the middle, golden hands, that back torso print, which also is just flawless. Like, this thing definitely looks great. The printing on the helmet is different, say, to the Mark V right here. And when you open it up, again, it's just uh, another one of those clear heads. Here is the current armor, Mark 50, from the Infinity War sets as well, but again, LEGO did a great job. It looks very organic, I'd say. He has that nice printing and those tiny, um, supposedly, arc reactors all around, that square arc reactor in the middle, obviously the main one. There's that back torso printing as well. You know, it's a shame that I'm kind of going fast on these Iron Men because, um, you know, I'm just doing that because this video's been pretty long, but... Uh, it's a shame because I do want to take the moment to kind of appreciate this torso printing more. But if you saw on the workbench, you know, it does include the Tony Stark hairpiece. I don't know if that's the best fit, but it was in Iron Man 3 era and stuff. But I don't know if it still is for Endgame and stuff. By the way, love that back facial print. Remember how revolutionary it was when it first came out. Before I move on to the ver verdict and show you the box... I first want to show you something. However, they're barely fitting in my studio, and sorry about that. You can see some of the wall and the carpet. And the focus was bad there, and the lighting again is bad, but this is all the Iron Man I have collected so far. It is 12 Iron Man suits in total. It's definitely not all of them. I didn't do them in chronological order. It's not from Mark 1 to Mark 50, or to Mark 85, rather, or anything special like that. But, you know, I kind of, like, started with Mark 1, silver, and then continued that silver in there, and then that silver, and then it moved on to the red, and then some red, some black, and then a black suit, and then War Machine suit, and then with some uh, gray in it, and then Tony Stark in the jogging suit. So that just looks so cool. I am on a journey to collect all the Iron Man suits. Uh, kind of like a tribute. I also wanted to say, not only is it great because I have so many Iron Man suits, it's because of the detailing LEGO puts into all of these. Like, all these printings on all the suits are phenomenal. Except Igor, of course, he sucks. But, uh, like, all the suits they've made to date have been amazing. But, uh, anyway, uh, let's move back to this set since we're getting sidetracked. Anyway, but first, I love that side box art with the actual people and then the Lego fight figures. But, okay, so what do I think about this set? I love getting the two Outriders, though maybe, well, not maybe, it would have been better to get two extra Iron Man suits instead. Iron Man, sorry. Uh, it would have been way better to do that. And about the whole display, I say cut all these side builds. Like, I love this. So keep this. Keep this. Keep the dummy. What I'm talking about is cut the armor stands, cut the smoothie machine, cut the workbench. If you're not gonna do Igor right, cut him, cut the satellite, and give us maybe one or two more displays. But um, I'm trying to get three of these. I have one. I'm trying to get two more so that I can then have the space to collect all the Iron Men and display them all. But anyway, $60 for this set, not worth it. I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest, with how it turned out. Well, I was when I saw the pictures. Now I've kind of moved on, but still. 
So if you find it for $40, though, I think that, yeah, you should get it because $40 is a great deal. Each of the Iron Men probably sell for about 10 bucks. It's kind of unfortunate, though, that this set didn't include Mark 85, which is the new suit in Endgame, which did come in the Avengers HQ. But yeah, that's it for this video. It's been pretty long, but I hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon.